Hi guys, so today I want to do a video on respiratory therapists, also called RTs and nurses or RNs. And I had someone ask me this question to do a video on it about like what RTs do and like their relationship to RNs, like how you guys work together. But I thought it was a really good question actually, I never thought of this idea. So I want to kind of talk about it a little bit. Two things, working in my new job in the ICU, I am a lot more involved with the RTs than I was at my med surge job. I guess that's only like one thing, but basically what I'm trying to say is like, when I worked med surge, RTs, like they would come and like do your breathing treatments or if like you had someone who was needing more oxygen, you may like call and be like, hey, just, oh, okay, you think it's playtime? Hey, to let, just to let you know the patient in room 10 is desatting on the two liters so I put them on an oximizer or something I don't know I'm just making that up I, why you would go from two liters to an oximizer I don't know but if you, if you did you would probably that's something you like you could call RT about but working in the ICU RTs and RNs work a lot closer and that's because a lot of your patients there are having respiratory issues they're on ventilators or on BiPAP they have a CPAP at night or whatnot and so they're really managing your ventilator settings and all those things. Respiratory therapists are very, very smart and very good at what they do, and you want them on your side. I can't tell you how many times, I mean, I guess I haven't been working that long, but still, several times I have been in a room and I'm like, the ventilator's beeping about something, or all of a sudden the patient's lungs sound differently, and I just call respiratory and I'm like, hey, this is going on, can you come help me? And they always are so nice and helpful. And like seriously, if there was like, if there's like a code or a patient's getting intubated, all of a sudden there's like five RTs there, I swear, every single time, five RTs there. And you want them there because like, even though as a nurse, we need to know how to like manage a patient's airway and their breathing and be able to recognize lung sounds and distress and all those things. RTs are like specifically trained on respiratory, the respiratory system. That is what they do. And so you really want RTs there. They are very, very good at what they do. They can adjust your, well, you have to have a doctor's order usually to adjust the um, ventilator settings. But a lot of times they know what the patient needs and then we'll go talk to the doctor about it. But they're very, very good at managing all those things. I know I say that a bunch of times, but like you want RT on your side because if your patient's going downhill, you want RT there. As a nurse, you don't want to have to worry about doing the airway when you're like pushing meds to intubate or pushing medications because you're coding a patient. You want to be able to do that while someone is like worried about the airway. So RTs are wonderful. I hope that kind of gives a little background information like what RTs and RNs do, but basically to sum it up, RTs manage the airway respiratory system by doing like ventilators, BiPAP, nasal cannula, breathing treatments, and those things, suctioning, all those things, listening to the lung sounds. Um, they can draw your ABGs, so if you're needing an arterial blood gas, they can draw those. So all, again, respiratory things, and they're very smart at what they do. So be friends with your RT. Just like I say, be friends with your CNA. You want to have the RTs on your side because, again, you want them there. If something's going wrong, you want them there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.